Poland shows great interest in the artillery ammunition produced by Rakhetsin. A technical cooperation agreement was signed between Rakhetsin and the Polish Ministry of Defense. The International Defense Industry Fair MSPO, in which Turkey is participating as a leading country, started on September 6, 2022, in Kiels, Poland. Before the official opening of the fair, Rakhetsin signed a technical cooperation agreement with the Polish Ministry of Defense in a very special ceremony. Making statements on the subject, Rakhetsin General Manager Mura Sekin said, there is a very serious potential for cooperation in the defense industry, depending on the elevation of relations to a diplomatic level under the leadership of our president. We strive to turn this potential into real success. TRLG-230 missile can be launched from Rakhetsin MCL artillery weapon system and other platforms with compatible interfaces. Thanks to its high accuracy and high destructive power, the TRLG-230 provides intense and effective firepower against high-priority targets at ranges of 20-70 km. The system can be integrated into the K-plus weapon system and the multi-barrel rocket launcher, MBRL, by Rakhetsin, with other platforms of different types with suitable interfaces. The TRLG-230 has a diameter of 230 mm and a weight of 210. The guidance systems of the missile include GPS, Global Positioning System, GLONASS aided INS, Inertial Navigation System, and Laser Seeker. The missile has a high explosive and steel ball warhead weighing 42 kg. The GPS can be used at ranges of up to 55 km in the event of a jamming environment. Impact performance may vary depending on the performance of the laser designator, atmospheric conditions and the laser reflectivity of the target surface. The potential targets of TRLG-230 include artillery and air defense systems, radar sites, assembly areas, logistics facilities, C-3 systems, and other high-priority targets that have been laser-designated from land platforms or unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. The system is uniquely efficient with its ready-to-fire mode, its pinpoint accuracy laser designation and its precision strike capability, while its potted transport, storage and handling capabilities ensure mobility. Rakhetsin see Poland, not only as a market, but also as a European and NATO ally with whom we can cooperate. In this context, we have signed an agreement on defense cooperation here. This agreement implemented a defense cooperation protocol between the Polish Ministry of Defense and Rakhetsin. Due to the rapid growth of relations between Turkey and Poland in the next stages, we aim to be here with our products. Especially our smart munitions, our smart munitions used in S0HA are attracting a lot of attention. Our artillery systems 122, 230, and 300 and our Bora missile are among the products of interest in Poland. Hopefully, we aim to capture a lot of good potential by using this fair in the future. Previously. Poland becoming the first NATO member to buy Turkish-made unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Poland will buy 24 armed drones. The Baraktar TB2 drones, the first of which are due to be delivered next year, will be armed with anti-tank projectiles. Poland will also buy a logistics and training package, said Defense Minister Marius Blaszczak.
Blaschak told State Radio the Barakter TB2 drones have proven themselves in wars and added that the UAVs would be serviced by a military company without giving further details. The contract, which will be concluded without a procurement process, will be signed next week during a visit by Polish President Andrzej Duda to Turkey. Poland will buy 24 Barakter TB2 armed drones, produced by a Turkish company owned by Erdogan's son-in-law, Selkuk Barakter, with the first delivery slated for 2022. The contract will be concluded without a procurement process. The deal also includes smart micromunitions manufactured by Turkish company Raketsan, along with ground control stations and ground data terminals for the drones. The reconnaissance and assault drones will be serviced in Poland, and the two countries agreed mutual protection of classified defense industry data. Mirosław Rzanski former general commander of the Polish Armed Forces, told Polish Defense Information Service Defense News that Poland's armed forces also needed to acquire long-range UAVs capable of carrying out strikes beyond the country's borders. Stanislav Tarasov, editor-in-chief of the Eastern Editorial Office of the Russian news agency Arinum, says the supply of Barakter combat drones was an important, though not the first, signal of changes in Warsaw's strategic course towards Ankara. A year ago, relations between the two countries were strained after Turkey stated that it intended to veto the adoption of a new NATO plan to protect Poland and the Baltic states until support would be provided to Turkey in its operation against the Kurds. However, in September of 2020, Duda ordered the dispatch of a Polish military contingent to Turkey, which Warsaw had not done previously, he told DW. The foreign policy ideologues of the ruling Polish party are motivated by a Polish pivot towards Turkey with the intention of confronting Russia, he added. So far, however, Turkey is extremely afraid of provoking Russia due to the political and economic costs and will most probably try to keep its balancing act between Russia and NATO as long as possible.